Have police made a direct link between something found there at the crime scene where little Kelly's skeleton was discovered back to the Anthony household? Out to Jessica D'Onofrio with WKMG. Jessica, what can you tell us? Well, Nancy, I'm learning more specifics about those links. We've been talking about this plastic garbage bag. It's black. It has yellow handles. Uh, the child's body was in that bag uh, out by the crime scene. Now I'm learning that investigators were able to seize similar bags. It look, they look exactly, they look identical to that bag that Kaylee's body was found, and they found those bags at the Anthony home. Now, that, that bag is also identical visually to a bag that Cindy Anthony turned over to investigators back in July. So what it's doing is really linking that bag out at the crime scene to bags that the Anthony family had inside their homes. So, uh, you know, these ties, the evidence just keeps mounting and mounting here. And we've been wondering about what are those links? Uh, what what have they found out at that crime scene that can directly tie to the Anthony family home? Now I have a few more answers here, but of course these are visual. These are visually identical. So now what investigators are going to have to do is take these bags to the lab and prove forensically that they are similar bags. Now to Mike Brooks, uh, former fan with the FBI. Mike, uh, to say that two trash bags look alike. Uh, it sounds very generic, but if you, if you go to your local grocery store and you compare trash bags, they are all different sizes, colors, weights, thicknesses. Uh, some of the black ones have a black tie, some have a red tie, some have like these, a yellow tie. What can we learn is actually extremely specific. It is, Nancy, and it's uh, that bag that she turned over in July is going to play a big role in this. What they can go, what they can do is microscopically compare the perforations, the number, the way it was torn, and then go back and compare that to the bags that they took in the second search warrant after they found her to see if they do match up. And they should be able to do this at the Florida Department of Law Enforcement lab. Mike, that's not all. Uh, a careful analysis of the trash bags can show the actual components in the plastic. Oh, sure. What I'm telling you is you can chemically prove that, for instance, a, a hefty bag is different from a Piggly Wiggly or a Kroger or a Publix trash bag. There is a chemical, there is a, a, uh, a difference in the components in the trash bag. How much dye is used, how much plastic is used, how much air is pumped into the plastic. That is why some plastic is more durable or hefty, uh, heftier than other trash bags. How much air is pumped in there. So they can tell Mike Brooks right down to the lot, the batch, uh, where they came from, which uh, what date they were manufactured, you can tell so much by a, a, a chemical analysis. It is, but if the mag, but the thing is going to come down to are the number of perforations because as they go through the process and the bags are perforated in the factory, uh, they're going to be able to tell whether it was a hefty or any other kind of bag, but those perforations are, good, are going to match up. And uh, if they're the same chemical makeup, then it comes right down, Nancy, to those perforations because you can have a couple different uh, uh, bags, uh, let's say of a hefty type with yellow handles, but it's going to come down to matching up those perforations.